Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Easy Natural English with Liam. Wow, if I say it like that, it sounds like a game show host. But uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to talk like a game show host for the whole episode. But it is quite fun. I kind of want to do that. But it will be very difficult to understand. And yes, I don't, I don't speak like that. I speak in nice and natural but easier English so you can get used to English in a natural way. So I'll do that as usual. Anyway, today's episode I'd like to talk about ways to ask how you are. How are you? This question. Um, many students uh, you know, you're probably thinking the answer already. If I say, how are you? You're probably thinking, I'm fine, thank you, and you? <laughs> um, you know, I've been teaching English for many years and I've taught, you know, even in big classrooms and sometimes I say, how are you? And I have, you know, maybe 20 students all at the same time saying, I'm fine, thank you, and you? And this is correct English, but it makes you sound like an English learning robot. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sometimes you might hear native speakers say this, sometimes, but most of the time native speakers will answer a different way. So today I'm going to give you many options that you can use so you can sound a bit more natural. So first off, this is my most common answer and I think a lot of uh, native speakers will answer the same way and that is if they are British, American, Australian, South African, from New Zealand, Canadian, um, most native speakers will answer with I'm good. So if someone says how are you, just say I'm good thanks, how about you? Or I'm good thanks, you? And this will sound more natural and it's nice to have a little pause, you know, I'm good thanks, you? Because when you say I'm fine thank you and you, like all one sentence, it doesn't sound like you really care how the other person is. You know, it sounds like you're speaking without thinking, you're just saying I'm fine thank you and you. So it doesn't sound like you really care, it doesn't sound like you actually want to hear how I am. So if you say, oh, I'm fine, thanks. How about you? You? You see, now that sounds like you've said how you are and now you're thinking, how is the other person? So it sounds more natural and it sounds like you actually want me to answer and, and say, oh, I'm good, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I'm good, thanks, you. It's a nice natural response. That's probably what I say most of the time. But uh, yeah, I'll give you some other options too. So if I'm feeling really happy, if I'm having a good day, I'll probably say, I'm great. Yeah, if someone says, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thanks. I'm great, you know, it's even better than good. You've got good and then we've got great. And if you're feeling really happy, you can say, I am fantastic. I'm fantastic. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel amazing. You know, I'm having a great day. I just heard some good news. So yeah, you can use something like that. I'm fantastic, thanks. Um, yeah, I feel amazing. I feel awesome today. So you, you know, if you're really excited about something, you can say that. Um, so this, this word, I'm fine. So native speakers do use that sometimes in response to how are you, but it tends to be um, more in response to a question when someone is asking, if you're okay. So for example, if I fall down, you know, like bah, and I hit the floor quite hard and it looks painful and I stand up like, ow, then someone might ask me, Liam, are you okay? And I'll probably respond with, I'm fine, thank you. You see, so this fine means like, I'm okay, please don't worry about me. So the same is true if someone, um, if I have a coffee cup and someone's going to pour me some coffee 
and I don't want any, I have, I've had enough, then I would say, oh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. So again, you see, this means like, I'm okay, no problem. I'm okay, please don't worry about me. So that's usually when native speakers will use fine. Um, yeah, also the way of asking. So how are you is okay, that sounds natural, but we have other options that native speakers use a lot. And one of those is how are you doing? So personally, I use that a lot actually. If you're one of my students on italki, you'll have heard me saying, how are you doing? Um, and then you could also say, how's it going? <clears throat> how's it going? How are you doing? And you can respond to these the same. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, good, thank you. If someone says, how's it going? Then you can also say, like, it's good. As in, my day is good. Yeah, it's good, thanks. Or, or you can say, I'm good. But if someone says, how are you? And you say, it's good, then this sounds strange. Because they've asked, how are you? Not, how is it? Uh, I've had some students say that to me before. I say, how are you? And they say, it's good. That sounds strange because I've asked how you are, not it, not your day or something. So be careful with that. Um, what else is important? What else is important? Um, ah, so there's um, also some regional differences. So when I say regional, it means in different regions. So different regions of the world, different parts of the world. So if you're in the UK or Australia or New Zealand, I'm not sure about South Africa. I think maybe in South Africa too. Uh, so a lot of countries that speak English, not America, you won't really hear this in America, but a lot of other English speaking countries, when we ask someone, how are you? Actually, we ask, are you all right? So that's just a yes, no question. Are you all right? But when we say it quickly, it sounds like you're right, because we're dropping R and then the U is getting pushed together with all right, and it becomes, you're right. <laughs> and it's common too that people add mate at the end. Mate means friend. So if you're in the UK, so this is important to understand if you want to live in the UK or even travel in the UK or in Australia or New Zealand. Yeah, people might ask you, are you all right, mate? You're right, mate? And they're saying, are you all right, mate? Are you all right, friend? And you can just say, yeah, good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, yeah, so in the UK, we'll be like, you're right, mate. And in Australia, we'll be like, you're right, mate. <laughs> you're right, mate. That's my best Australian accent. Sorry if it's not very good. But yeah, you will definitely hear these and you can just respond with, oh, I'm good. Thank you. You can respond the same way. And you might even hear people just respond with the same question. So in the UK, you might hear people say, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so they've both asked the question and neither of them have answered. <laughs> Nobody answered the question. Just, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so it's like two questions, but it means just hello, hello, if you like. Maybe you have the same thing in your native language where you ask this question and you don't really answer it. Yeah, I know it happens in some other languages that I know about. Maybe it happens in your language. Um, oh, one really important thing I want to cover too is this word so, so. So I live uh, in Japan and I've taught English a long time in Japan. And I hear many students when I say, how are you? They say, so, so. Please stop. <laughs> if you want to sound natural, don't use this word. If you try watching movies, try watching TV shows, listening to the radio, you will hear native speakers do not use this word. A native speaker in this case would just say, I'm okay. So if you're just normal, they just say, I'm okay, thank you. Um, or I'm all right. So when you say so, so in English, it actually sounds a bit negative. So when you do hear native speakers say so, so, which is not very often, but if you do hear it, if you ask someone, how are you? And they say, mm, so, so it probably means they're not good, actually. It means they're kind of unhappy or kind of sad, and maybe they just don't want to say, I'm sad or I'm not feeling good. They'll just say, yeah, uh, I'm so-so. So yeah, also, when someone asks, how are you? By the way, you can't say, I'm bad. If you say, I'm bad, it's like I'm a bad person. So if you're not feeling happy, 
you have to just use not good. You have to just use the negative. How are you? Yeah, I'm not good. I'm not good. Or sometimes people even say, I'm not great. To be honest, I'm not great. Yeah, I'm not good. I'm having a bad day. But you can't say I'm bad because that sounds like you're saying like I'm a bad person, <laughs> like a criminal or something. So yeah, don't say that. Um, I think that's uh, most of the things I wanted to cover here. So yeah, hopefully next time someone asks you, how are you or how are you doing or how's it going? You can respond with something more natural like I'm good, I'm great or I'm feeling awesome or something else, something more natural. Try some different options. Maybe the uh, native speaker you speak to, maybe they'll correct you. Maybe you'll use something slightly wrong, but probably not. If you just say, I'm good, it'll probably be okay. And it's good to try new things. You know, it gets boring saying, I'm fine, thank you, and you every time. Must be boring. So try something new and yeah, give it a go. Don't be shy and it'll probably sound more natural. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all for listening. Uh, if you're on the podcast, please review. If you're on the YouTube, please uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the alert when I put out a new one. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you all back here next time.